over each of the sons. You can read in Genesis chapter 49. But you find that his one wish was this brother Josh. Nothing's mentioned about Rachel. But he says, I want to eternally lay the son of Leah. Bury me with Leah. When life is said and done, you realize how that the hands of Leah in your life are sweeter and more precious than the hands of any Rachel. See, we shoot for the stars, we have big plans, we have big dreams, and we wake up and realize that it's not Rachel that we have, but it's the Leah's. You see, when he looked at Leah for the first time, Sister Dietrich, he looked at her and he thought she is nothing compared to Rachel. Rachel is the complete package, but Leah, she is just covered in, in brown paper. And, but, but in time, Sister Beverly, he looked and he saw that there was deeper things in Leah than whatever was in Rachel. And he realized that it's really Rachel that I need when all the time my heart wanted Leah. You see, our heart can long for a lot of things. Amen. Don't look for the glitz and the glitter. Amen. Look for the things of God where God can work and move in your life. And though I'd like to exempt everyone in here from pain, I would do you an injustice because I would give you a life of Rachel's and you would never enjoy the love and the great solitude and the stability and the cleaving and, and, and just the comforts of Leah. I don't know where your life is right now. But I want to tell you that you may have come here this morning thinking that, Lord, I have bargained for a Rachel all my life. I worked for years for her. I didn't bargain for this. No one bargains for a hospital stay or a diagnosis. No one bargains for a relationship that's less than what you anticipated it to be. No one bargains for economic hard times. And no one bargains for children that, that go wayward. No one bargains for those things. No one bargains for the losses of life. We like the gains. But God says, plan is I want you to marry me. Because if you would just stop, she's a way better wife for you. Than Rachel. Sister Holly, if you come with me out. Would everyone around the sanctuary stand this morning? Amen. I just feel the presence of God. <coughs> God wants to walk around these altars with every head bowed and every eye closed. I'm not asking for raising hands. I typically don't do that. But I want you to look internally this morning. I want every one of us to be introverted this morning. This isn't a message for someone else. This is a message for you. Maybe you're here this morning and you say, God, I wanted Leah. I worked for Leah. But I woke up in the morning. It's Rachel. I didn't bargain for this. This isn't what I want. Listen. Forget about the voice of the lady, but hear the voice of God. But the choice I have for you. This way. Try it out. Try it out and see if it's not a much better fit. Where you live, maybe it wasn't where you wanted to live, but God said, This is what I have for you. And God doesn't want you to throw in the towel on marriage. God doesn't want you to throw in the towel on parenthood. But God says, This is what I've given you. Would you trust me with the details? Would you trust me? That when you wanted Rachel, I gave you Leah. And would you trust me in knowing that Leah is what is best for you? Because in Leah, 
You'll see a cleaving and you'll see a faithfulness. You'll see a stability. You'll see situations that will bring praise. You'll see situations that will show you the face of Jesus. This morning, I want to encourage you. Mary Leah. Mary Leah. I love her. She will give you greater things than you can ever imagine. With that being said, with every child of God, would you step out of this your seat and would you make your way down to the altar and would you fall relentlessly into the arms of God? This morning, maybe you woke up to Leah when you were expecting Rachel, but would you say, God, it's okay. I'm okay with Leah because I know it's what will show me you. Gather me and everyone that will make a commitment to God and say, I'm grabbing on to Leah and I'm loving her and I'm committing to her. Amen. The disappointments of life is what shows me your face and shows me your hand. Would you gather in everybody, every saint of God should be running to the altar right now. Amen. I'm making a commitment. Amen. God, I trust you with the Leah's of my life. Amen. I'm hanging on. Amen. Because God's what she provided for me.